Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. I'm Anton Tinitsky and I'll talk about how I comp this gun with the black plate image. I had a, a question from a friend and I decided to go through it. So here we are so over here we have uh, my gun turret. The characters that I didn't make, I bought them off 3D scan store. And also a back plate image that came from a photo rare photo pack, Israel Arid Landscapes. So this is the 3D scan so a pack, which is really useful, great reference, and I finally got a chance to use it in one of my projects. And these are the Israel photos which I've used. A mis miscellaneous pack of a bunch of places in um, Negev Desert in Israel. So essentially I used all of that to make this scene a bit more alive, not just as like empty isolated render without... Um, uh, because it helps to tell a story, it helps to tell, helps to tell a story of how this particular item is used and how it's integrated into the environment. Okay, so let's jump into it. So all you need to do in Keyshot is to well, I have some. I have, I have a collection of different HDRIs here that uh, created somewhat uh, correct reflection, correct reflections, uh, similar reflections to the photo. And I also added a spotlight at, at the at the top with HDRI editor here. You can see I can drag it all around and. Like, let's create a, another one. We can put another spotlight. One thing I found that's a problematic in QShot, which I haven't found a way around, is that I don't know how to make hard shadows. You can see that they are pretty soft here. And. You can crank out contrast a lot and kind of get those, but then it becomes way too contrasty and doesn't look correct. Okay, so I'm just <clears throat> for the background. I've just you know switched to the backplate image and then look through the correct folder. And I okay, so we have all these photos here, and I've used this particular one. If we need to get some information from about this photo, if we go into the properties and then jump into details, you have a whole bunch of information right here in camera uh, camera shelf. And we are really interested in the focal lens that we want to use in, in our key shot. So essentially, we are not really interested in ISO or FSO. Anything else, we just copy the um, focal lens um, and jump into here. So I'll go from environment to camera, and here I just type in the focal lens that I found on that photo image. And of course, well, the original angle of view was a bit more random like this, so it wasn't lined up at all. What I did was just started to do it manually, just trying to find a nice looking angle, rotating the camera and moving the characters around as well. You know. Right. Like that. And I'll move this guy around quite a bit. Just. It's still not like a perfect, perfect match. I think this guy kind of looks on the left. It looks a little bit out of place, but it's pretty good. I've created quite a few view sets here. So essentially go into camera. Uh, it's got, and you create a couple more view sets. You can 
render them out here as and I don't remember. Oh yeah. You add them into the queue, add a job. Okay, add, add cameras or add sync. No, not not uh, add cameras. I turned off the background image from um, like render, so I wanted to put it myself in the Photoshop. So I'll have more control over the background. And when it rendered out the image, you can see it actually kept uh, some of that information in the shadows, some of the backlight information, while uh, it is isolated image. You know, it, it's, it's a PNG actually. Yeah, it's a PNG. It doesn't have a background. I had these rocks, they help to integrate with the environment. They look quite similar. And then I have put it all together inside Photoshop, so that's the render. And I have it's a bit of a messy PSD. Yeah, it's not like production or anything. I don't have to pass it to anybody, so I've just decided to experiment with a lot of uh, color adjustments and such. The one thing that's really good about this particular photo set is these photos are not altered like usually on a reg more regular photo stocks. It's a bit tricky. People are trying to push the photos too much and then that photos become really unusable. This photos uh, contain the realistic colors and they're really useful. Okay, um, I'll just take a look into the original uh, it was the original render. That looks pretty good, yes. And I've added a little bit of color in here. It's I used the color lookup color grading essentially. If you're not familiar with it, it's a really powerful technique. It can if I just if you double click on it, you'll get this window. It uses the 3D LUT files that LUT tables that can change the look of your image drastically. They're quite often used in movies. Well, I mean, they're always used in movies and in any color grading process, they are predominant. You can now, nowadays, you can even use them in, you know, in games. I used them in Unity, I used them in Unreal. And yeah, couple, some of it is way too stylized. I really like this one, making it a bit more pinkish. Uh, this one, kind of no, it's too stylized. This one is kind of all right, like Breaking Bad color grading uh, type thing. Uh, and the final touch, what I did here is I just copy, I copy the whole thing, paste it, paste it on top, and I ran um, like a sharpen on sharp mask thing. Getting really popular nowadays, people sharpen this stuff a lot. I don't know, I'm trying to stand in the trend. Ooh, that's too much. Yeah, that's kind of... Yeah, yeah, that's that's about it. It's a bit too much, but I think yeah, it's about, 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 about right. A uh, couple of things I've done here, you can see... You can see the helmet I put. This these two guys are actually the same, you no know, people, the same person. And I put a helmet that I had on top of this guy, but he didn't have a strap on uh, on this, his face, so I just drew it. And you know, it, from if you really, really get close, you can see that it's pretty poorly painted and stuff. But you know, from that distance, you cannot really say it, that it's painted. That was a job for me. Yeah, it's actually another good thing is that. Uh, Stuff you can find on Shutterstock, for example, usually overly sharpened. And here you can still have potential to put your stuff in and sharpen it all together to keep it consistent. Oh yeah, and then also I've added a kind of a common thing to do again, a color grading technique really. 
uh, edit uh, this thing on top under uh, soft light. Uh, not soft light. Uh, I mean, color. Uh, maybe even color dodge. No, not color dodge. Uh, linear light. Yeah. It's kind of been eating on oh, overlay, sorry. It's kind of a bit of a vignetting effect, and also, again, putting it all kind of together a little bit. Try not to overdo it, though, like that. Again, if you kind of watch movies, or especially TV shows, they do that a lot. Like, I think recently in Game of Thrones, I was looking at one episode, they were just putting it over the top, like, almost like this. Just to keep the character in center and keep it subdue the details all around the frame. Yep. Oh, yeah, and in the end, I just wanted to show you this kind of my first attempt. <laughs> and you can look, this looks short, like this looks really bad. It kind of didn't really adjust the angle of the camera. The shadow is just out of place, they haven't done any proper lighting, is just completely out of whack. I think it, it was just a studio map, not an HDRI. So this is like, I think it's kind of good to show the first attempt, and, and it looks like crap. And why it looks like crap, right? Again, so that's <coughs> wrong HDRI, HDRI image, wrong angle of view. And wrong lighting essentially. Here, though, writing is not 100% correct because you can see on the bush here, it's much harder than on the turrets. Turrets should have much blacker shadows, but lighting somewhat match is matching real world lighting, and it's not that easy to spot. Um, so it's much much better integrated. But yeah, I think it's kind of useful to show first attempts that just plainly suck, and then and then they improve and get it better. I hope it's been helpful, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll leave all the links. Uh, in the description to the extra materials I used.